but last question from Jamal. He said, with the release of the Snyder Cut last week for the uh, Justice League movie, are there any other movies you wish get this treatment? For example, how about a version of 8 Mile, Eight Mile where Anthony Mackie actually raps in the final guest, the final against Eminem? I was fucking that up, but I hope y'all got what I meant. Oh yeah, I was thinking about this earlier today. So, so you know pretty much he's asking like, what other movie would you want? Like a director's cut, like that. Yeah, I never thought about um, the fact that Anthony Mackie played Papa Doc. I'm Tupac. (laughs) (laughs) He played Tupac. Yeah, he didn't. I didn't enjoy that. (laughs) He he attempted to play Tupac. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if he succeeded, but he he tried. Um, I can't. Um, all right. So let me say this. <coughs> First off, I commend Zack Snyder with the way he's done with the Justice League and such. Right. So everybody watched it, right? Yeah. Shot verdict on it. Yeah. That shit was, it was amazing. It was, that yeah. shit was great. That shit was fire. Finally. Now I don't know about y'all, but I didn't see the original Justice League. Did y'all? See I it? saw the original. I didn't see it because I always knew about, I heard about the Snyder Cut, and I and didn't. Then I didn't watch it. I was like, and I'm what I wait saw just in case of, it come out one day. What I saw of the um, original one, I didn't like. Yeah, it was like all the fire parts that was from the original was all the Snyder Cut anyway. So it was okay. like, well, damn. Okay. Yeah, like, well, how the story go? He got kicked off the. Making the show and then um, we're making a movie and then they brought in nah, Josh. Well, his daughter, his daughter, his daughter died. died. It committed. Yeah. Yeah, oh, his, yeah, his, that's right. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They brought, yeah. So it was. And they, and they kind of panicked. He just needed a little time to grieve and they just said, fuck yeah. it. They brought that whole ass nigga in, Josh. Josh, Josh Wesson. Yeah, whatever. and just. And he just fucked it all up. But I ain't never, I ain't never seen it. I just heard it was just shitty. Yeah, was but then when shit. I seen. um. I watched uh, cause My I was, man. cause I ain't really a big fan of these new DC movies, man. So I was kind of going into that shit kind of reluctant. Well, uh, I was like, I ain't, I don't know, man. I'm just gonna watch about two hours, but I went up watching that shit. I was like, damn, they say no four hours, four yeah, hours went by it like breeze that. By. Yeah. I was like, bro, this might be like out of all the superhero movies I've seen, I feel like the Snyder Cut might be like top two or three. Be honest, I don't see like most movies fucking with that shit. Nah, not at all. And I would say that it's even it's even better than some of the Avengers movies that had come out. You know what I mean? Um, in my opinion, it was better than uh, the last one, the last Avengers movie. All right, be careful now. Yeah. Hey, hey, that was a really good movie, man. Four so hours, much. like I was locked in. You know what I mean? I didn't have to like. But then you gotta think about. The director's cut or whatever Infinity War Endgame look like true, too, though. true indeed, true that, indeed. Ain't no telling me what that shit. Could true indeed, really. And I mean, tr- Endgame was great. Endgame was great. You know what I mean? And I'm not taking away from that movie none. I just say it to say like the way they had Steppenwolf looking. You know what I'm saying? They like, had Steppenwolf looking like a straight hoe in the first one. Yeah, they, looking they, like a they made real, him look too uh, human. Like, yeah, like two humans. Two, yeah. And his other one, he just looks scary as fuck. Bro, that nigga, when he was fighting the Amazon, the Bruh. Amazonians. Yeah. Swinging Bruh. them them horses Bruh, around that like numb choke, chucks. That nigga was choke slamming the fuck out them horses. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> when he launched all three of them, I was like, wah. I was in the crib <laughs> like, let's go. That shit was crazy. But that nigga was like, really like shaking like a stripper though. When Dark Side so came on there and that boy talking about me and I... I got this world, boss. Right. Can I? Can I, I don't know right. what happened exactly. Like if he betrayed them boys or something, and they made that man. I think he got to um, get like ten thousand more worlds. Or yeah, I think he just fucked up. And Dark Side was, was like, "Hey, look, man, there, let me, let me, let me, let me drop your ass back to down the size." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I said to say, man, Steppenwolf was trill as shit on Earth. Yeah, all the way up until they brought Superman back, and Superman said, "All right." I'm going to give in. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I'm going I'm to go back and help these little niggas. Bro, that fight when they were fighting Superman, we were bad. And that nigga Flash tried to sneak up on him. Bro. Yeah. He looked up. He's like, bitch, nigga, I see your ass. Nah, he was like, bitch, <laughs> nigga, I'm faster than you. <laughs> Bro, that's, that was my favorite scene in the original. One, like, you thought bitch. you were yeah. fast, nigga? Flash, nigga? Nah, watch this. <laughs> Flash and that bitch. Um, 
Then that cyber, what? cyborg origin story. Mm. Yeah, they didn't, even have, they didn't even have that shit in the, in the first one like that neither. What, 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 what I would say was about the um, part of them fighting uh, Superman <laughs> was funny to me was when um, him and Wonder Woman was going back and forth with the head butts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that nigga say, oh, I, I, I see what you did. <laughs> Watch this. That nigga flew a little bit and dug ass into the ground. I was like, oh, he is ruthless. Like, he don't yeah, give a fuck. That nigga was terrible. He trying to kill somebody. Who was that that hold that cop? It was something, wasn't it? It was Batman, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. That cop was in the way. He's like, you might want to move. Right, right. <laughs> but uh, uh, let's talk about this, man. Ben Affleck is got to be the worst, the worst Batman. Nigga, what? Nigga, you ever seen George Clooney, nigga? <laughs> Oh nah, I no, no, nigga, I feel like it's up to like top two, top three. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He might be the best. Ben Affleck is the best. Bruce Wayne. No, I'm fucking with this. Did you see Dark Knight? No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I fucked that up. I fucked that up. I fucked that up. He I the was be- he, he the best Batman to me. He the best Batman, bro. He the best Batman. Bro, ben but, Affleck. It's, but it's the Bruce Wayne character, he not that good. Yeah, all right. And now that I'll give you, but that's what I'm trying to say. Because honestly, Christian Bale is the best Bruce ba- Wayne. Bruce Wayne. But here's what I'll say. And this might be a um hot take. But now I need your best Batman also. And please, please do not say Christian Bale. Nah, my best Batman, like, um, Mm, that would be tough. That's actually a good one. Man, your old school ass probably like I, Adam West. <laughs> <laughs> Black and white on full. <laughs> I um I did like Jack Nicholson's uh like Batman like that Batman they did with Jack Nicholson. I liked. Um, Are you talking about Michael Keaton? Michael mm, Keaton. Michael, good, Michael Keaton. Michael was a Keaton Batman. was a great and. I would I, I I probably would say just out of favor he would be my my favorite Batman. Now people call these movies people call these movies ass, but I like Val Kilmer Batman. Val Kilmer Batman wasn't bad. Like I I watched it, but um I wasn't I, like I wasn't thrilled by it. You know what I'm saying? All right, so George, but George Clooney, the, the worst Batman by a landslide. Ever. I didn't I watch that one at all. Or matter of fact, yes, I did, and you're absolutely right. George Clooney is the worst Batman all around. Yeah, he was the worst Bruce Wayne. He was the worst Batman. Like, um, but here's what bothers me about Ben Affleck being Batman. Realistically, you could put any anyone in that costume. You know what I'm saying? And 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 you have Batman. You know what I mean? It's Bruce Wayne that makes Batman so important in the in the the story and from the viewer's perspective as well. You get what I'm saying? So Ben Affleck to me is too everyday working man. Like when I see him, I see the town. I see um what's that one he was on like a farm or some shit like I forget. I think he was a sniper or something. I know what you're talking about. I can't remember the name of it. But why Ben works for me, though, is like because of what you... You could take that into perspective because he's playing old man Batman. Old man Batman to tie everybody to shit. you already weak as fuck compared to everybody else. He he, he on that murder shit now because he, he can't do shit else because he's so fucking old. Right. So that's what makes Ben's the town type shit work. Yeah, as that particular Bruce Wayne and Batman, though. and that's even and even Ben, his fight scenes, he just got the better fight scenes. Like now that's been. that's where I yeah. say I will give it to you because I can't, <clears throat> I honestly can't think of anyone else that um, that does a better um, fight scene than 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 um, yeah yeah my man Ben like Christian Bale. He had some he had some good fight scenes when he fought when he fought Bane. Yeah. But Bane, those fight scenes was take the fight scenes was like So hype. Corey. It was uh it was kinda like they were good, but like Bane just talking shit. 
Mm-hmm. Just dropping all the damn jewels and shit while fighting is what made those fights. They really did. Like, that's what enhanced everything. Um, so, yeah, I would say just out of favor, my, my favorite Batman would be uh, Michael Keaton. Um, but Ben Affleck, now that now that we are talking about it and I'm really putting things into perspective, would probably take that as number one now. And I only say it to say this. I didn't watch the full um, Batman versus um, Superman. And mm-hmm. I'm going back to watch that. Like, I started it today. And, of course, y'all already know Sleepy Joe. I fell mm-hmm. asleep. But um, I say it to say... Um, <coughs> so you embrace the sleepy Joe? Uh, All right, I'm coming around to it. I got a surprise for you next week. Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bruce Wayne will probably always be Christian Bale to me because, like, the way he played that character out was just too fucking player. He he went three for three too with the movies. Like, bro, he yeah. didn't miss not one bit. He didn't drop the ball. Like, he's a great, great, great fucking. But some actor. people like to argue that the villains carry those movies. He just had some elite villains, man. He, he really yeah. did. But let me ask this: What about him? Would like, like, even to say that? You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to have a worthy counterpart. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um. Let me ask y'all this. Have y'all seen the trailer for the new Batman sca- uh, slated no. to come out 2022? Yeah. Yeah, I see it. I'm talking about, like, I'm saying that like it's years out next year. Um, that one looks like it's going to be great. Oh, yeah. yeah I, don't think they, I don't think they can make a bad Batman movie no more. You're, you're absolutely right. Uh, so I say that to say DC might be stepping it up. Because Snyder but, did... Uh, but apparently they're not continuing on from that shit. I heard. I heard. I heard it's just a wrap after that. You can't... You can't DC end, be dropping the ball, man. You can't just end it like that, man. Because when they had threw Stephen Wolf in that damn portal, and they stared and, dark side down like he was a bitch. And, and he was like, hey, look, we finna do this shit the old-fashioned ways, man. Round them up. Yeah. I was like, yo, we gotta have a sequel. Man, I was like, bro, dark side a hoe, bro. I'm yeah. waiting for a full-on invasion. Dark side definitely a hoe. You can tell it. Dark side ain't want to cross through that portal. I don't know why. Oh, cause he would have been stuck. Thanos would have hopped in that that portal. Th- Thanos would have killed all of their ass. Yeah, <laughs> Thanos would have been like, "What's happening? What's happening?" <laughs> hey, Thanos, I see y'all on the other Thanos side. Thanos would have looked at that portal. And he was like. I'm pussy. <laughs> you, know, out there, you remember when Marshawn Lynch dove in the uh, end zone? That's yeah, how yeah, Thanos would have right. been through the uh, through the portal. Watch this here. Oh, you think I'm a hoe? Oh, bet. I don't even need that pinning oh, stones. Oh, bet. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. In that they case, stop, like, they would have tried to stop. Like, nah, these fuck niggas trying me, bro. Straight up. And in that, in 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 relation to the two movies, he would have had all. Five Infinity Stones right before him had he just jumped through the portal. Thanos definitely would have been through there. Oh yeah, for, oh, sure, right, for sure, sure. And he would have put like he would have put everything on himself. For full episodes of Random Max of Podcast, everything is linked down below. Also, if you're interested in the audio versions of Random Max of Podcast, we are available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, anywhere that you're comfortable listening to podcasts. We're available there. Thank you.